Is this supposed to be some sort of rescue? Wow. This is like the cone of a volcano. It's um not going to erupt, is it? But sorry, Lewis, something has come up. Like what? Just something important. But not so important that you need to know about it. You know, Cleo, one of these days, with or without Lewis, something really bad might happen to you. This is a catastrophe of the highest order. Moisturiser is mainly water. I know how she feels. Sometimes I don't even want to hang around with me. Our skin will be dry and wrinkly. We'll be geriatrics by the time we're 21. I just have one question. Why me? I didn't ask for any of this to happen. I've been training to be a swimmer since I was six months old. Well, say goodbye to that dream, because we're Murph freaks now. Okay. Yes. I'm going to stop them. Go and tell the others. What? Just go! Fafra and black currant juice is really the way you want to go. What do you mean? Well, I just thought maybe this year, now that you've quit the swimming team, it'd be a good chance to try something new. Like what? Sugar. <laughs> About time we got comfy and hit the DVDs. Right, girls? Yeah. Hey, Cleo, from motion Cleo, sickness. Cleo, and air sickness. Cleo, 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 Cleo! You found it. In the pool, didn't you? On Mako Island. That's where Gracie lost it. Years ago. So you mean you're. I'm 65 years old, yes. But I don't look any more than 68, right? That's not what I meant. I know what you mean. Even if you don't. What's your name again? Cleo. You've got spirit, Cleo. Enjoy it, enjoy it all you can. You and your friends. Always had an affinity with the sea. You? That's a joke. I'm the one with the affinity. I'm a... I'm sure she'd make time for you if you wanted to play with her. Play with her? No way. I just wanted to borrow a belt. Why are you always shutting your door? To keep you out. Did I say come in? Well, why do you need to keep me out? Because you're annoying. Goodbye. Lewis is one of them too. I can't see Lewis as a mermaid. No, you dork. He'd be a merman. Like a boy mermaid. <laughs> um, and uh, Cleo has uh, chosen to come dressed what as is a. She? Um, <laughs> you give us a hint? I'm a Portuguese man of war. It's a jellyfish. Oh! Wait, maybe I can reverse it. Put some water molecules back in. Um. Oops. Cleo. <laughs> Don't ever talk to sea perch. You can't trust those fish. Why would I talk to fish? Cleo, good to see you too. Dad, 
Dad, happy birthday to the most magnificent, deadly, no, debonair, something, something, kindest dad in the whole world. Where would the world be without dads? There'd be a lot more room for everybody. <laughs> Just joking. Dads. Where would the world be without dads? I remember once when I was 12, he made me a cheese sandwich. Even though I'm lactose intolerant and vomited it up, it's the thought that counts. In closing, I'd like to say thanks, Mr. Gilbert, for being a dad. You can clap now, I'm finished. What if she's stuck like this forever? What if her tail never goes away? His eyes a circus. He was such a good fish. And now, return to the deep. Somehow I thought he'd sink. Is it all right if we have a minute's silence? Of course it is. in the morning. He's a little quieter than Pluto, but he'll settle in. Oh, he wants a noisy fish anyway. You're gonna regret this. She'll be fine. You haven't heard her sing. We had a good thing, a very, very good thing. And I thought it'd last forever. Boo, get off. Love me for just one other day, and I'll make sure I make you stay. Steal the secrets from my heart. La 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 la! What? I'm not that bad, am I? I can sing. I can really sing. I mean, it sounded good to me, but sometimes it's hard to tell. You touched water and the full moon is doing something to you. I can sing. People like me, adore me. Aren't I adorable? Fresh FM, you're on the air. Everybody's listening. I've got something I want to share with the whole world. Well, go right ahead and share. Ooh. I'm a star. You can be my entourage. I won't forget you. Cleo has a gift. What she needs is a manager. I can do that. The world needs to hear her sing. Before you know it, everyone will have forgotten. And back by popular request, the amazing voice of Cleo Satori. Ah! See? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Ah! Sorry, folks. What was I thinking? I'm never going to live this down. <laughs> Is that the sun coming up for a second time? <gasps> no, it's my darling daughter. We can get another balloon folder or a chihuahua dressed as a renaissance poet who can bark the whole of I was made for loving you. Race him. Couldn't we just leave her in the sun? We need something frozen and something a bit like, um, like human flesh. Like, um, like, um... Tofu. Yeah, close enough. Yes, Lewis. L E Wiss Lewis. Make something up. <laughs> Someday someone will find you attractive and it'll come when you least expect it. A bit like zits. And sweat marks under your armpits. Cleo, can I have a word? Yeah, okay. I'll get my notes.
male of the species is a predatory creature, Lewis. If you want the biscuits, you can just have them. It's just a quick dash, Cleo. What's the matter with you? Cleo? Cleo, are you all right? My tummy hurts really bad. And uh, <coughs> a cough it just came to me. Brilliant, huh? Award-winning performance. Well, it started to rain, so I fainted. <laughs> Fine. I guess if you want to go on it, you can. Lewis? and I'm going a little out of my mind. What are you looking at? Hard to believe that catching a pelican could be the least of my problems. You? You took the pelican? Why would you do that? It was to go bodyboarding. Wasn't it, punk? zombie in the laundromat that got electrocuted. She was wearing my pink top. I miss that. And then the zombie on the bus that was dribbling slime. She was wearing my blue dress. Not your exact dress. Well, it may as well have been. I've got to do a clean out. I cannot be seen wearing the same clothes as a zombie. Maybe, maybe Zane was performing the Heimlich maneuver on Ricky. Lewis. Wrestling, perhaps? Oh, no, 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 why is it always me that has to do the following? Well, you don't think I've got anything better to do? Like what? Lewis was trying to figure out a scientific way to make it easier for us to be mermaids. It won't work. <laughs> well, it mightn't let them mind meld with the jellyfish, but it will give them a chance to live like normal human beings. Well, no one can mind meld with a jellyfish. They're jellyfish. Hey, Spunky. You moved house lately? Uh-huh, no. Cool. I know where to pick you up from then. Is this have anything to do with the dance, mate? Can be if you want it to be. Yeah, I'm in the market for a chicky to take. No. Well, I'll leave you to think it over then. Catch ya. You are so lucky. Chicky. Cleo, hi. Hey, Lewis. Lewis, is there anything you wanted to ask me? Yes, there is, actually. Really? And what would that be? Um, well, I, I was I was kind of embarrassed to ask in front of the other girls, but... He wants a sample of my earwax. You're all here. Brilliant. We're all out of navel lint, Lewis. Nate was asking about you. I only went with him because no one else asked me to go. Am I that no one else? Yes. But you didn't seem interested. Which was really annoying. Because I'm interested in you. Really? You, but we've got trouble. What's her face is back in town. 
Um, you're gonna have to be a little bit more specific with that. Oh, you know, the blonde vixen who ran off into the sunset with Lewis and a sample of our DNA. The marine biologist, the beautiful one. Beautiful? Her eyes are way too close together. I think it's time we talked. Don't you? No one messes with mermaids.